Hi, so I made a video on how I got an ISI and you guys liked it a lot. Then I made a video on the prequel to it. How really I made it to ISI with the complete backstory. Even that got good amount of views. Now I thought why not make another video which says why did I decide to get into ISI MSQ at the first place? What was my motivation? So to set a context let me go back a bit and just tell you that while I was doing my engineering, I was actually thinking of writing a novel. And in those days, the reason the novel writing phenomena was a hit in IIT or IAM is because of Chetan Bhagat. And even I was in that kind of a crowd that I want to write a novel. Now, when I started writing a novel, I actually showed it to one of my friends. And uh, she said that you don't develop your characters. They suddenly come up to the scene, do their act and vanish. Now this got me thinking and she also handed me a list of books to read. And then I went down the rabbit hole of books, novels, non-fiction, fiction, whatever I could lay my hands on to. But that's a different story altogether. What happened to the novel is a topic for a different video and maybe for a different channel altogether. So why I'm really trying to tell you uh, this part is because I wanted to set some context here. So what is the context? When I was in my class 3, 4, 5 and so on, I was not really good in mathematics. And it, it's not that I was good in other subjects as well. I was really a very, very uh, mediocre kind of a student. And the reason is that I really never studied that well. I just studied before the exams. And maths is something which you really cannot pass if you just study before the exam. Now, few things changed. I started to get better at maths from class 6, 7 onwards and then in class 9, 10 I was so good in maths that in uh, the small school I was in, I used to uh, really be among the top 3 people in mathematics and I used to be liked by the mathematics teachers a lot. And after that, when I went to class 11 and 12, the mathematics became a bit challenging in nature. But physics was my refuge and it gave me that room and that freedom to apply my conceptual understanding to solve the physics numericals. Now with physics the thing is that if you learn physics it's like learning bicycling. You will never forget it. You will understand the concepts and can solve numericals if you understand the essence of the concepts. But with mathematics practice is of prime prime importance. Now even physics needs some practice but the amount of practice mathematics need is just immense and uncomparable with other subjects. Now when I went into IIT with this background that I am good in maths and I really like physics, I wanted to do some kind of a research. Now, when I started studying in IIT, the research interest started dying out. There was no maths, there was no physics. I mean, whatever that was, it was not interesting. And maybe it was interesting, but I was not able to become comfortable with it or rather play with it and I thought that I'll become a consultant like a lot of people at, in IITs and that started that movement towards MSQE and how it started that movement because I knew that I wanted to do something in mathematics and to do something in mathematics engineering is not really the best option. Now there were options like actuarial science or I could do something in the domain of statistics but in those days, I really did not know what statistics is. And actuarial science was something which required a lot of commitment and giving a lot of exams. And yes, I was not really serious in those days. I was, I mean, like a normal college kid. I wanted to have something quickly in front of me. I thought that I need to do something and it should give me results quickly. Now, that led me towards finance. I got interested into finance, investment banking and I even did some of my internships in a startup which was in carbon finance and eco-friendly technologies. And a major chunk of my work life was devoted to teaching physics for JE and NEET. Now, after I taught physics for so long amount of time, my interest in mathematics never subsided. And while I was reading through all sorts of things available around me, as I was reading a lot of books, non-fiction as well, so I understood that there is something in which I can do work on, that is called analytics. And data science, big data was just coming to the picture. It was coming to the fore. Now, that led me towards the courses which I can do and in which I can mix finance, I can mix mathematics and analytics. 
Now, in the meanwhile, I also studied CFA level 1. And in CFA level 1, the thing which was a bit tricky for me was economics part. And after that, you already know all my story that I decided to do MSQE and then one thing led to the other. But what is the part between my economics and analytics interest to MSQE? That is something which even I do not know. I just have a hazy kind of a memory that there was somewhere around the month of May 2013 that I thought I will do some kind of a course related to analytics and I talked to a friend who was preparing for the CAT and he gave me an idea that there's a course called MSQ in ISI. But yeah, that went into my memory and I did not think about it till late 2014 when I started researching about it. And only in the month of December 2014, I decided to study MSQE because as I have made a video on my cat story, there was really uh, a clear signal that I need to do something else apart from preparation of cat because that is something I was not cut out for. I was not that fast in calculations or rather I should say I was not even good in a lot of logical reasoning and English questions. So I decided to study MSQE with this idea that I want to study economics, finance, analytics and MBA at IIM is out of the option. So I started at not really a very great footing. The foundation was something which was really, really not that thorough and researched. And yes, but the main thing here is that I really did not think about the placement and the career prospect. How I thought about this course was purely and purely on my interests. And my desire for working in the field of mathematics, statistics, economics and finance. So you can say that a lot of people think about it backwards. They look at the placements and then decide which career to choose but I really do not think in that direction I first think that can I do this job and is it lucrative enough so that is how I decided or rather why I decided to study MSQ at ISI and yes you can find these videos on how I really got into ISI MSQE.